These are big blocks. Let's go down there and see. Yeah, they look stuck together without mother. Sono messi senza cemento, sembrano. Andiamo a vedere, questi sono belli grossi, dei big megaliths. You can see from these holes here that there are no big axes sign because you cannot have room here to make these holes here in this, in, this uh, inclination. You can see those thin, thin, this one, marks. There are two millimeters, some kind of thing, two millimeters. And then they end up with a hole because probably it's too much pressure, whatever it is in the instrument, and it kind of melt. You can see that it's kind of melting. Even here, you can see that it's kind of melting. That's why it probably makes that hole. It's very, very peculiar. Molto caratteristico questo, questo segno perché vedi anche i fori eh, tipo eh, fusi, si vede una fusione e il segno dentro in particolare è di 2-3 mm, massimo 3 ma sarà 2 mm di spessore il segno. E non riesco a farlo vedere magari, è più di così, ma si vede che non è una un segno di un piccone, anche se da lontano, siccome è tutto usurato ed è grossolano, sembra appunto dei segni di piccone, ma se si va da lontano e si vede la circolarità, si vede la circolarità di un macchinario, si può calcolare magari il, il, la, il grado, il raggio della, di, questo, di questa azione, di questa macchina. You can see also the, the circularity of the the sign and in somehow how they work kind of a chevron uh, impression that's very amazing it's cool they used to live here obviously after catastrophe what are you going to do you use it for any purpose uh, it could be anything just from the weather you stay there you cover yourself and start to build up walls and uh, make it nicer but the the, the all ancient stuff is there, as you can see. Inside there, you can see the pattern inside that gap. The no pickaxe can go inside there and make that thing. Yeah, yeah big instrument. Yeah, we don't know. Non sappiamo che, che strumenti. È tutta una speculazione, is all a speculation about UFO, laser, or whatever, or even geopolymer, because even uh, I keep saying geopolymer because they analyze them in uh, South America and, and there are geopolymers. Uh, but they're advanced because to use geopolymers doesn't mean that you are troglodyte. They're still advanced. They're a civilization. They are, uh, they reach that uh, kind of technology and they use it uh, of frequency to make the, 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 the material tender or whatever, but it's still advanced. I'm not saying that they are, are troglodyte using cement, easy to do. It's not easy to do. And so, whatever they use, it's cool because you can see they can work it out uh, the walls, the side, and make the, the dwelling. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's closed, but maybe one day it's open here. But this is a house that they used to have in the 60s as a straw man. But uh, I don't know if you can see all the signs. There they are. Full of those signs here. Oh man. This look massive. But the signs are quite modern. Look like. Whereas this one, I believe it's quite ancient. These are modern. Yes, they didn't put mortar. But see, since they are working in a cave, they bring out blocks and they can manage to stack one on top of the other, perfectly cut. But this one, this one, ancient sign, see? Quite thick as well, I can see. 
Yeah, old machine. A lay in Tornio. See what I mean? This is ancient, ancient stuff. You can see sign here. This old machinery, ancient machinery. Those sign there. Those they recovered this stone here. They they reuse it for sure. They're no in an original place. They chopped it and they used it and they made it. No, medieval stuff. They start, you know, to rebuild buildings after catastrophe. So what I need to say really, see, vedi questi segni. They are very ancient, so molto antichi. And inside here, of today's clothes, kind of big. I don't know that is a statue. I don't know. What the hell is that one? Don't know. Maybe they found it there, an alien. And that is one bathroom for the alien. Maybe, I don't know. Down there is still room. And you can see quite ancient still that gap there that we find all around the world, this kind of uh, working. Same, same, same in China, Liverpool, in Europe, uh, in Italy, all around Italy. Uh, queste le trovo un po' da tutto il mondo. Queste lavorazioni qua. Che sono molto antiche. E con macchinari avanzati, sicuramente. You know, now we go towards Fontanella del Capriolo, the fountain of the deer kind of thing. Let's see. There we go. There it is, but nothing much. Now that, well, it looks very recent, this stuff here. I've never seen this sign before. Even though, if they are really the ancient one, this is new for me, I've never seen them. Look something modern. They just uh, restored them. L'hanno restaurato e messo su questi pezzi qua che non sembrano segni antichi. Almeno a me sono nuovi. Con questi piccoli forelli qua non li ho mai visti. With these little dots and this uh, small uh, pattern. It's quite new for me. I've never seen so I can they are ancient, I just say modern. And here is ancient, you can see. It's all covered by the the nature, the mud, the disaster that came here, they destroyed everything. A bit is remained here. The discharging water from here. And you see the same sign here. These one are quite nice, but they are still same pattern of this one. E ancora non so, non so questo se è antico o meno, ma sembra moderno, sembra restaurato. That's it for today. This is uh, Vicenza and it's a nice place for a walk and also to discover this uh, exciting uh, uh, structure that is uh, our earth and uh, whoever was before work it out how to make buildings questa nostra natura no che gli antichi probabilmente hanno trovato un'altra maniera per usare i cementi per renderli teneri per fare dei lavori intagliarli nella maniera meno faticosa chissà che strumenti avevano who knows which instruments to achieve the kind of work that we see today I mean, anyways, the result is really beautiful. I like it. I like to have a house like this. I like very much. Okay. Bye-bye from Vicenza.
see you next with from K22 channel or a refuse for the Neanderthal man ok, un refuso di Neanderthal andiamo a vedere ok, just left the place e tomorrow I'm gonna play this digeridoo Reggie Nepper in Vicenza so if you come over Vicenza I believe there is a market street market today so, sorry, tomorrow is Saturday uh, and the day after I'm gonna be in uh, Venice for uh, giving support uh, at the uh, university there, you know, people from the university at the Ca Oscar University. Uh, we're gonna be there just give support at 16:30, so 4:30 p.m. and uh, this is Sunday. Tomorrow in Vicenza and play this digeridoo unplugged with some uh, bell, Tibetan bell inside my rucksack. And that's it. My nice day from K22 channel così I'm speaking a bit in Italian now tu, eh, domani vado a suonare il digeridoo a Vicenza dovrebbe esserci il mercato e quindi ci vediamo magari al mercato e domani è sabato domenica invece vado a fare supporto agli studenti de, universitari <coughs> del Caffoscari di in Piazza Pantalon uh, Piazza o Campo Pantalon dovrebbe essere che appena esci fuori dalla stazione subito di fronte là un po' a destra e vicino appunto alla Ca' Foscari. Quindi ci troviamo lì alle 16.30, alle 4 e mezza del pomeriggio e facciamo eh, supporto agli studenti contro questa mh, illogicità e oppressione che ci stanno mettendo eh, soprattutto in Italia. Ciao, have a nice day. Buona giornata da K22 Channel.